Welcome to Yen's Yoga. Today, thought elements flow is associated with transcendence of our limitations. Our practice is going to allow access to the utmost clarity and enlightenment wisdom. Element flow yoga, also called the crown chakra or sahasrara, located at the top of our head. When you're ready, see you on your mat. Let's begin by lying on our back. Ardha Sarvang Asana. Heels in line and next inhale, lift your legs to the sky. Elbows in. Exhale, rest in your bum on your palms. This is a bit different from Sarvang Asana as we are resting and arching our back. Create a curve in our lower back as we inline our feet with our elbows. Inhale and exhale. Gently come back down. Next inhale, we're gonna go to our Dhammukha Svan Asana Vinyasa. Exhale, bend your knees, sit on your heel. Inhale, push the floor away. Two more times. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, straighten your legs. Next, inhale, right leg to the sky. Tripara Adomukha Svanasana. Internally rotate your bottom hip. Create a diagonal line from your spine to the top of your leg. Gaze at navel. Exhale deep. Drop your right leg. Facing the front. As we bind our top hand behind us. Ardha Bada Ardha Chandrasana. Shoulders and your hips are stacked together. Which if inhalation, you're gonna rotate and lean back. Left shoulder back. Left hip back. Two more breath here. Come back down. Drop your elbows to the earth. Next, inhale, right leg to the sky. Chaturusvan Asana. This is a great pose to improve our range of motions of the hip. Keep your hip high. Left feet are tucked. It's alright if your left, left heel is off the floor. Options for pincha, you can jump from here. Otherwise, we can bend our right hand, drop our head as we go to funky headstand. Your left elbow is on the floor beside your head. Right elbow, a 90 degree bend in line with your elbow, wrist. Inhale and exhale. Come back down. Toes in, heels out. For Prasarita Padantan Asana. Stretching on one side. Holding your left ankle. Square your hip. Dropping your right, sorry, dropping your left hip. Switch side, holding your right ankle, dropping your right hip, and square your hip. Internally rotate your hip, rolling inwards as you fold. 
One more time to the left side, holding your left ankle or left shins. The wider the distance, the easier it is. So listen to your body. Change side to the right. Pushing your right hip to the left. Next time, we're gonna hold onto our elbows. Barahasta Uttan Asana Prasarita Parantan Asana. They're just dangling here, left and right, front and back. Release any tensions in our lower back. Lengthen our spine. Give our spine some nourish. Juicy and massage. When you have enough, we're gonna frame, face our front mat and do a vinyasa flow. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, let's sit down in Balasana, sitting on our heels. Extend both hands to the front. Beautiful, guys. Very well done for those who have done your pincha. We're going to pause and regulate our breath. Next inhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left leg to the sky. In Tripara Adho Mukha Svanasana. Great pose to soothe and calm our nervous system. Sending a good vibes to our brain. People with a regular headache will be benefit from this. Tripara Aramukha Svanasana. Sending all the blood flows to the brain. Next, exhale, drop your left knee in front of you. Right hand behind your right hand behind around and resting on your left thigh as you twisting to the right left hand on the ground to help you balancing with each inhalation you're gonna roll your right shoulder back next inhale roll your right hip back well done guys looking stable Invitation to use your block to help you open your chest. Come back down, both elbows on the earth. As we lift your left leg to the sky. Chatur Swan Asana. It is all about the balance in our physical and mental state. A great pose to help remain stable and square. Your hips are facing down for equal pressure on your shoulders. Gently come back down. This time Left elbow are 90 degree and prepare for your funky pincha as you jump. If you're with me, we're gonna drop our head and lift our leg to the sky. Right elbows are on the floor beside our head. Left elbows are bent 90 degree in line with your wrist. As we lift our feet to the sky. 
فانکی هستن Lengthening your leg and back when you're in these positions to prevent any weight on your neck. When you have enough, go to Balasana with your hands beside your legs. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Palm is facing the sky. Forehead on the ground. Inhale. As you exhale, we sigh. <sighs> Few more times in your own pace. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, sigh. <sighs> we cannot finish our flow in Suptaparakon Asana. Bend both knees. Knees are wider than your feet. Rolling upwards. Externally rotate your hips. Hands can be on your thigh or one hand in your heart, one hand on your belly. See how you feel. I will call you when it is time. You're most welcome to stay here longer or you can go to Shabasana if it is uncomfortable for you. Gently bring your awareness to your body. Roll yourself up in the sitting positions. Take your own time. Next inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, bow forward in your Anjali Mudra. Thank you everyone who practiced with me. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Subscribe. Like and comment if you enjoy the practice. Go find Yen Yoga to see more videos like this. Namaste.